Hello guys, today we will examine the Yu Cheng Kindergarten project with you. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's move on to the video. Designed by Mad Architects and built in Beijing, the building serves the preschool education of 390 children between the ages of 1.5 and 6. Yu Cheng Kindergarten was built right next to an old people's home in Beijing. In line with the intergenerational integration principle of Yucheng Group, the employer of the project. The 9,275 square meter plot on which MAD's project designed in 2017 currently includes an 18th century Saheyuan courtyard, a replica of the same courtyard built in the 1990s, and a four story modern building. The designers removed the replica built next to the original and instead wrapped the historic courtyard creating a gentle and fluid space that contrasts with its high order and formal stance. With the tension created by these two different dimensions, it was aimed to prevent the new from overshadowing the old or the past from taking over the present. The roof, which floats over a series of individual spaces, brings together different functions. In this project, MAD tries to break away not only from Beijing's historical context of blue bricks, gray tiles, narrow streets and red walls, but also from the world, he aimed to produce from another time and place but with a historical structure. Yu Cheng Kindergarten, which consists of the strange combination of corrugated, collapsing and twisting, alien, topography, structure and historical courtyard, offers an unreal landscape that stimulates both mind and body of children. On the ground floor, Three new courtyards were designed around the historical trees on the plot. Together with the old courtyard, these new courtyards provide daylight and natural ventilation to the classrooms in the building and serve as a garden. Courtyards and roof landscaping are linked by stairs and slides. Glass walls from floor to ceiling help the interiors to be illuminated with daylight and reinforce the visual connection between the old courtyard and the new structure surrounding it. In this way, MAD aimed to reveal the 300-year history of old and new buildings together in three dimensions. The transition area between the first floor and the sunken floor to the east of the lobby was designed as a theater. This area can also be used as a two-story game or art sports event area. There are teaching areas to the west of the lobby. In this wing of the building, Rather than closed walls, a fluid spatial setup is created, divided by spaced arc-shaped walls. Thus, both common and private teaching areas were provided for all age groups. 